hello, 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 and a massive hello to everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope we're all having a great weekend. This is the 3rd of April, 2016. No, no trade calls, no recommendations. Everybody's sponsored for their own stuff. And the fact that you're listening to this means you've read, you understand, you accept all the disclosures and disclaimers on the blog, understanding that we're performing some technical analysis in a learning context for educational purposes only. So what's going on, guys? Going to try and keep this as quick as possible. Um, very interesting week coming up. Uh, keep in mind that we've got um, some interesting Australian data out on Monday. We got retail sales, building approvals. Uh, we do have construction PMI out of the UK on Monday. On Tuesday, we've got trade balance out of Australia. So again, a lot of data out of Australia, but we also have the RBA uh, rate statement with uh, so with that rate decision is going to be very interesting. We got a bunch of PMIs on Tuesday. We got trade balance out of Canada. We got ISM out of the U.S. We got the GDT price index for out of New Zealand. So you know plenty uh, plenty of a data flow, consistent data flow, crude oil and FOMC minutes out on Wednesday. On Thursday we've got um, unemployment claims out of the U.S. We've got Draghi speaking. We've got Yellen speaking. So a lot of potential for moves there. And then on Friday, you know, apart from some uh, uh, JPY uh, data and man production out of the U.K., we've also got employment change out of Canada. So, you know, fairly uh, steady stream of stuff on, on the wires should be interesting. So what are we looking at? I think um, too many things is the strength in equities again. Uh, no big surprise. We've been talking about this for a long time. Our base case has been that we were looking for 12, 2050s to tag, and we would not be surprised to see 2100. It looks like we um, the path of least resistance is higher. We went through that range shift, and our assumption is still that uh, since we got that initial daily uh, close here above this uh, 2050 we were expecting this to continue to stay bullish for a rotation back up into that level so again despite the fact that you know whether the risk reward is still to look for the uh, for the bigger move to the downside because we like to believe that markets do not only uh, only move in in a straight line right we believe that it's healthy to see the market move up down up down up down up down and here what's been happening is that the market is pretty much moving in a straight line so it would be healthy to see some kind of a correction but it still looks like the path of least resistance is higher that we have to tag somewhere up here so going into the week there's no big change for us uh, top of the range is uh, 2100 mid is uh, 2050 and low is the 2000. So again, um, I s what we would say is also that on any correction lower, expect to see buyers coming in around here. We're looking at probably what is this? this is like you know 2030s. You know you've got this confluence of these two moving averages coming in the 50 and the 100 that should serve as quite a decent base support for any retracement to try and take a stab higher so again what we would say for this week is still we like tactical shorts but uh, we would not be looking for a big big move to the downside unless something uh, hit the wires and I think here we've had a very important learning point on this whole rotation higher so people who are interested you can go back and listen to the old recordings the way we've talked through this and it's it's worked out uh, quite nicely um, another chart you know gold played out very nicely last week we we're talking we we're looking for a move back into that 50 DMA into the 1200 level pretty much I'm not going to go through that again another chart I which I think is going to be interesting going into the week, which I be focused on or I'm going to be focused on is the crude chart, right? What we discussed was that uh, we were moving higher. We had this nice little reversal at highs and we said, if anything, we're looking for some kind of a correction and the, the level that we've been talking about for a long time are those uh, 3770s, right? And we're saying those 3770s are gonna be attracting and that's going to be the pivotal level, right? The bull bear line going into, uh, going into this next rotation. And we said, as far as we're concerned, once it was moving lower, there are two areas that were interesting for us. That short, right? Up here in the next area we'd be interested with somewhere back down here. We're not too interested in the mid range. We knew it was going to be pivotal for or we suspected. Nobody knows because unfortunately we don't have a crystal ball. If anybody's found one, I'll be more than happy to have a look at it. But um, 
right? So what we thought is this is going to be bull bear line coming down. So we're coming into an interesting level. This confluence zone of these uh, of this uh, 100 and this 200 coming in there. If you look at this move from lows into highs, you're seeing that the 50 back is also coming here. Uh, 34 uh, 25 the th so this whole area is going to be interesting so we'd like to see a little bit more weakness and crude always very weary of possible tape bombs but you know if anything it might be an interesting area to place some kind of uh, uh, of tactical longs down here if we get extended uh, a little bit more we don't think there's an awful lot of edge here around the 3770s but we're more than happy to watch and see uh, now, rather than go through the usual charts we've got up, I'm just going to get some blank charts up. I know people like to look at the blank charts, so let's just go through them. So Euro, what's happening on Euro? We've had a very nice uh, uh, move higher. We, we, we thought we were going to sell off harder, and it kept on con catching a bit of moving back. Now, where are we? We were a very interesting territory, right? Because you see this whole area, right, delineated by the, by the wicks is where we got sold off fairly hard in the past now this is an important zone because uh, you can see then that when we had this uh, um, this puke lower right we started to base around this level then we got sold around this level we got sold around this level we tried to spike through we got sold hard around this level this level got protected so clearly this is a very important area right whether you want to call it uh, what you want to call it, I don't mind. What I would do is I would have this line here at the base of these candles just to give you an idea, right? And the top side, looking at the top of this uh, this wick, 17s, you know, this is a level we're familiar with. There's a chart on the blog with all the with um, with all these lines on there. So moving into very, very strong resistance. Now, I think we cannot discount the fact that if this continues to trigger shorts we could see a squeeze all the way back up to the 117s i think it would be healthier to see some kind of retracement right what to look for in terms of retracement where you know if you don't believe things only go one line it would be healthy to see some kind of a move back down into this area down here right one of the lines we've been fairly familiar with and we've discussed in the in the past is that 1050 level right if you are looking at this uh, channel up let's go on to a daily you'll see that broadly speaking this is coming up with that area so i think that's the first area to watch to the downside and i think most likely you'll see a lot of velocity of move inside range a lot of choppy action but um right here to the week you know base we're hovering here and this is probably the high range uh, if we really, really get extended to the upside. So that's what I would be focused on on Euro. A lot of conspiracy theory talking about the Fed's trying to yank it back up, get it up closer to those 115s, 117, those so they can start hiking rates again and they're not going to completely smash this down. We'll end up more neutral. Who cares? We'll see. What we're focused on are, are the charts, right? We'll see what happens on the charts. But into resistance to the upside on more squeeze, 117 to the downside, we'd be looking at those, those uh, 10, 1050s attracting, okay? So another interesting chart, again, here, uh, cable, as we said, we're stuck fairly neutral, as we said, we thought uh, into these highs, worth getting aggressively short, into these lows, worth getting aggressively long, anywhere inside here we we call this all brexit willing and dealing retail getting chopped up absolutely no interest to, to do anything there um, if we're looking at aussie what's happening on aussie we're moving back up into fairly interesting zone right this is a, a very interesting support zone where we tried to base before we really puked up again right so this is going to be a very interesting area we're coming into multiple support zones here so i think you cannot discount the fact that if it squeezes you might get some kind of a of a, of a, of a move rather the other way around right oops getting all messed up with these arrows, right? All the way back into those 81s, 80, 81s. But really here with all that data with the RBA, I think you'd have to expect some kind of a healthy move, some kind of a healthy retracement, right? If you look at it on the daily, what you can see is that we move back up into the area and the market is trying to defend those highs, those wicks coming in. Now, 
we already had an attempt to defend here now don't be surprised if we try and snap higher trigger some stops early in the week but still i would suspect that it would be far healthier and far more probable to see the market um, correct at some point into the data points or in, into the rba rather than going in a straight line all the way into the 81s okay to the downside what to look for well you know there's a lot of of areas you know you can go back on the daily but what i would say is this whole previous resistance zone which we broke out of should act as support if it wants to continue the rotation right so it, we, we would be looking at somewhere around here we're talking about uh, 74s into the 72s as being some kind of base support and on any rally higher you know this being the the big resistance so the way we're looking at it here fairly neutral um, top side and you know this is being the downside and somewhere here in the middle as we're trading here okay uh, and um, let's look at Kiwi what's going on Kiwi very similar kind of action uh, we've got a very very strong uh, previous uh, support that broke that looks like subtracting to the upside in terms of some kind of a, a squeeze the market is rotating higher getting sold right at this previous resistance a very nice little short trade into the end of the week on friday you see when we broke above and we got all this failure at highs close on that daily nice little move down off that daily close uh, market actually sold off about you know 70 pips off that level so the big question is how are we going to behave here right if we can go into the beginning of the week and and uh and uh, retrace a little bit then would not be surprised to see this come all the way back down into these you know 66's area all this base support if we cannot you know if we hold this low then expect it to try and move higher in extension now on the way up you've got some resistance to deal with you can see that on the bigger time frame so that's what I would be uh, focused on and uh, let's do CAD while we're at it so CAD very interesting you see we've coming into a really interesting area and we've talked about this a lot in previous uh, in previous updates and previous levels was that 129 right we'd expect that that 129 to see defense of this previous resistance that broke and then started to act as support for that final explosion higher of course is going to be linked to uh, to what crude does but that's a very very interesting level at that 129 so if it can hold here you'll expect to see bulls looking for this to start to try and rotate higher if it can hold you'll see the bears looking for this to try and come down back into this next support now what seems to be interesting is also that if you look at it, it gave us some interesting opportunities similar to you saw on um, on kiwi you've got these reversals here you know very sloppy action at lows but the market's clearly trying to base here now we could see some wheeling and dealing early in the week but again it'll probably be a lot more linked to to crude than some of the other currencies so i'd be cautious about being too stubborn here but clearly this is a very interesting um, bull bear line going into the week um, bullish above bearish below from a daily close perspective okay so i hope that was useful guys as always thank you so much for watching these for sharing uh, have an awesome one if anybody has any comments any questions hit me up on twitter if going into the end of the week right before i record these on sunday on friday on saturday if there's a specific chart you want me to go through just hit me up on twitter or send me a comment through the blog and i'll try to cover it in the sunday update okay have an awesome one thanks guys talk to you guys soon